Assemblies of God Ghana, aya nshisheye ene amani ya sunkwa, wamo na mso aje Reverend Stephen Yenusam Wingam atumu, se General Superintendent Emma Asoreno. Kumedi yi elko so ewa Accra International Conference and Tabra, nebusu ya fuo, ado fuo, asore ma eni Ghana mpenifubi etwe eshimu. Reverend Steve Wingam yi, ono ena obabedi Reverend Professor Paul Frempon Manson adie, wii ono etu nchenya. Empeni fwa hudua wamo so yehi wamoa enei Wamo ina ashe eduma se Ene Reverend Tito Ejei Assistant General Superintendent Reverend Dr. Ernest Brukrain Wano ye General Secretary Ena Reverend Dr. Simon Abu Baba Eye Treasure Abra na induction service no ekos no Reverend Steve Wingham Edu tubia eche se Executive fufru aye yi wamo no Ebe ye juma deni Na mu apeje asoro no Efi bebi ya wamo prim prim Ako bebi ya esupa Osansu eka saye Efo my Ghana Awunye hiya Yene mu imprim prim We will show leadership to the world And the body of Christ This vision is Christian The transformation agenda this strategy will be underpinned by an agenda that has thematic areas and its capsules are the six arrows. Reach, rebuild, restore, reform, reposition, and rebrand. We are overly concerned about the country's economic turbulence and deeply worried about the current security pestilence relative to the conflict in Boko. Frankly speaking, a flurry of damaging attacks or a litany of disparaging remarks fueled by obsessive partisanship will not and cannot solve our economic problems but rather worsen them. The solutions lie in fervent prayers backed by pragmatic measures. Last month, Assemblies of God Ghana held a week-long fasting and prayer session with particular focus on the nation. We will not flinch from scaling our prayers for Ghana to come out of the bitter cost of living crisis and extremely difficult economic circumstances. We believe that the sweetest mercies are occasioned by deepest troubles. While we pray for the rain of mercy to pour on our nation and the world at large, we readily endorse calls for a bipartisan, more stakeholder approach to tackle our economic challenges. Can you mention John Dramani Mahama? Eko eko piemu ewo dumedi eno ase uyi se oye kani mampeni no etu nchinya wasanso eya asoreba wakasa ye edetu ansore nsore nina eni mse wamu kwa swa na mu nchila wa majwene enfo mu nimu diye embwa wa mangana mpuntu eni yenkango the church does not hang in the sky the church exists in society and whatever happens in society affects the church today with the economic crisis that we are in it affects our congregation all across the country and so it's necessary for the church to continue speaking out anytime it thinks that things are not going properly. And that's why I want to congratulate the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic church, uh, 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 Council for the recent letter that they addressed to government, giving some suggestions about what government should do in the midst of this crisis. And I expect that this should be done no matter which government is, is in office. Ah! 